Well, hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's Life is Strange video, we are going to be discussing a big rumor slash leak for the newest Life is Strange, Life is Strange True Colors. I was notified by my subscribers and some people on Twitter of this rumor slash leak. And this is a pretty big one. So if y'all like to do me a favor, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new, if you enjoyed this and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments of this. So before I get into the topic, we are nearly 30 days away at the time of this recording, 32 days. By my next time I upload a video, we'll be less than a month away and the hype is real. So I need video topics. I don't know if I'll do a straw poll like I did for Life is Strange 2, but anything you'd like me to cover, leave a, to leave a comment down below. Any theories, predictions, videos you'd like me to make about True Colors before the release. Last thing I'd like to say before I start, please take this with a huge grain of salt. Remember, this is a rumor slash leak. None of this has been confirmed true. Hell, this might just be something that just came out of the blue and not even be true. So, let's get straight into it. Hope you guys enjoy. So, about two or three days ago, there was a big post coming from Twitter that I ended up getting added in. It was from some Brazil Life is Strange fan account. And there'd also been some Reddit posts I saw about this as well. So... I know this is kind of in Brazil, so I have you had you had to translate. But according to what they had said, they stated the following: rumor, possible spoiler for Life is Strange True Colors. Apparently, there was a leak of Life is for Life is Strange True Colors, where in one of the chapters, Chloe Price, yes, Chloe Price from the first game, would appear interacting with Steph in the Festival Garden, remembering that CT events take place in. 2019 so again that's pretty interesting now where does that even come from where does someone come with that so apparently people have been data mining life is strange true cars which kind of is like a confusing thought to me because this game is not even out i don't believe there's been any press copies released or any youtubers have gotten access to it now i want to give credit to a person who really told me about this First person smack and pie he made a video and he did tweet about this this is how I originally had found out about this and he made a good point you know saying something around those lines that how would have this you know how would people have been able to data mine this it doesn't really make any sense to me but let's go into the data mine regardless and discuss what this could mean now I know this is hard to read but I'm going to read from the first you see the yellow highlighted area so this is called the festival garden this is likely going to be resulting from the DLC, and I'll talk about why the Wavelengths DLC may have this interaction. So, first they say, 1A, Steph, Intro, Chloe. Then next is Festival Garden, Dialogue, Chloe, Available. Festival Garden, AP, Dance, Chloe, Available. Chloe, Combo, Advice, and then the end. So it looks like you're going to have an introduction to Chloe, a dance with Chloe, a um, conversation and advice from Chloe, and you're going to get a uh, dialogue choice about probably asking a bunch of things about Chloe. So, interesting stuff. Now, th why do people think this is not going to be in the main game and just the you know, Wavelengths DLC? Let's talk about it. Now, I made one video in the past talking about the Wavelengths DLC. You will only be able to play, as far as I know, at, the, at least at the moment, the Wavelengths DLC if you pre order either the Deluxe Edition or the Ultimate Edition. If you get the regular uh, regular version of Life is Strange True Colors, you're not going to be getting it because it is a, again, quote-unquote, pre-order bonus. Maybe they'll release it separately eventually down the line, but yeah, so this might give you more of an incentive to get it. Now again, rumor slash leak, this may not be true at all, but there is one little piece of information they shared about the DLC that really could support that this return to Chloe Price and everything could happen. Let's discuss. So, I want to focus on the Steam page. Now, I talked about this in full depth in my other video. There'll be a link down below in the description where you can check out all the information on the DLC. So, if you prefer the Deluxe or Ultimate Edition, there is a DLC called Wavelengths for Life is Strange True Colors. Picture like almost like a bonus episode. So, if you upgrade to the Deluxe Edition to get Wavelengths, an all-new story, play as Steph in the year before Alex came to Haven Springs. So this is basically a prequel DLC. Um, host a radio show, face your future, spin records, plus get four new outfits, da 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 Okay, so 
Wavelengths. Play as Steph in the year before Alex came to Haven Springs in a sound story set in the iconic Rocky Mountain Record Trader store in KRC Trio Station. So, what is going to be the main thing? There's one little instance that hints that a potential returning character could pop up, and I have two possibilities here now. So, it's, the description's called Roll the Dice. Give D20 power device to callers with problems, both serious and mundane. GM a tabletop RPG and reach out to reconnect with an old friend. And this is an old friend of Steph's, so this rumor slash leak does support that Chloe could potentially be this person. Now they could talk, they could reconnect at this festival, and again, there's dance, dialogue, and, you know, talking about life kind of stuff with them. But there's also the possibility of Mikey. Again, they are pretty much almost were best friends in before the storm. Now, remember, both in before the storm, there was conversation with Chloe and um, Steph, and then Mikey and Steph. So you have either or, and there's multiple endings. Remember, if Life is Strange one, Chloe either lives or dies. So if they make you choose, which I think they might do, they might make you choose what ending of Life is Strange one you got. So you either have to say, "Oh, I sacrificed Arcadia Bay, Chloe's alive," so then it means you know Steph and Chloe interact. Or, you sacrifice Chloe so Mikey could pop. So we could have a determinant returning character. It could be either one, which I think is, in all likeliness, the possibility, unless they do pick a canon ending. Now, as far as I know, some people have said the canon ending is Chloe and Max leaving Arcadia Bay together, Arcadia Bay getting sacrificed, da-da-da-da. So that means Chloe might 100% be it. So keep an eye on when you start the DLC, if they require you to pick what ending of Life is Strange 1 you got. That's going to be a huge factor, but you're definitely going to either probably get Chloe or Mikey now at this point in this Wavelengths bonus DLC. Now, again, please take this with a huge grain of salt. This is, again, a rumor slash leak for this Chloe Price stuff. So it all depends on a number of factors what they do. But if you are a fan and Life is Strange True Colors is right on the corner, you should be very, very excited hearing this. There is a potentiality, and I obviously, I think they, their next Life is Strange game might be with Max and Chloe. I've talked about that, you know, why I think whatever Life is Strange for, whatever the next one's going to be after this, might bring a return of both of them. So, maybe this could be a little, you know, telltale sign of that, that there might be that other game coming with them. So, if y'all did enjoy this video, please be do me a favor, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. What do you think are the chances of Chloe returning in this Wavelengths bonus DLC episode, whatever you want to call it. So, thank you so much for watching. Next video I will do will be under 30 days, or about 30 days till the release. So, it's nearly a month. Showtime is coming very, very soon, so get your hype ready. And I'll be sure to catch y'all in the next video. Get ready. The end is near. See y'all next one. Peace.